Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi everybody, welcome back. And we're looking at the face grid that I drew in part one of this video, which I'll be linking to in the comments below. So if you uh, missed that video, uh, don't worry, it's still up and uh, you'll be able to check it, check that out either uh, you could go before you watch this one or afterwards. Um, if you did miss it or if you uh, haven't memorized it, just wanted to do a little quick review, a little quick recap of what we did to get here. Uh, and this is a straight on view of the head, meaning that the, the head is looking straight on at us. Um, so we, how we started is we started out with a very basic oval, just sort of this upside down egg shape. And once we drew the oval, we divided the oval in half vertically. And then we divided the two halves in half vertically. So we ended up really dividing the oval into quarters, uh, into one, two, three, four vertical quarters. Once we did that, we divided it in half horizontally, and that gave us our eye line. We divided the bottom half horizontally, and that gave us the nose line. Then we divided that, that remaining quarter in half, and that gave us the mouth line. So the only measurement you ever really have to keep in mind is one half. We're always just dividing everything into one half. So that's, in a, in a really fast nutshell, the, um, the face grid in a straight-on view. Uh, and again, if you, if you want to catch like more of the details of how to exactly lay out the features of the, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, um, the ears, please check out the first video, which will uh, let you in on all that. Now, one of the things that I mentioned in, the, uh, in that last video was we have to get used to turning the head and, and rotating the grid around in, in uh, various directions. And that's what I want to talk about today, which is by popular request, I wanna talk about the profile turning the, the head, looking to one side. So we will be drawing a profile facing left. Now, the way we start, very basically, just as we did with the, the straight on view, we start with an oval, an upside down egg, okay? And really, the, the shape, this shape here is going to be pretty irrelevant. It just, it just starts us off. It gives us a launching point. Um, so if you wanted to, if you wanted to work from a, from a more of a classic sphere, that's fine. If, if you feel that gives you the best results, it, it's as you, as you see, it's not really going to matter in a moment because it's really just a shape that we're going to plant our uh, our guidelines on. And later on, we're really going to to modify this shape to suit the uh, the the head that we want to draw. Now, because we're doing a profile, and again, our profile is facing to the left. Um, you have to imagine that head, okay, that head that we drew the last time, it is it is turning. It's, it's going to be turning this way. So what happens when it turns, we're not really going to see those vertical lines. Remember how we divided the that, that oval in half vertically? We're not going to see that line from this angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to just skip ahead and divide the oval in half horizontally, okay? And then we're gonna divide that lower half, we're gonna divide that horizontally in half, okay? Once again, the one half is the only measurement you need to know. Then that lower half, we're gonna divide that in half. And that's really the extent of the grid that we're gonna be working with. Um, uh, just horizontal divisions. One half, one half, one half. Now that now that those lines are in place, now we could plug in the features. And that first 
line once again this is our eye line so for the eye line we're going to follow that line right here okay and this is where our eye is going to be now i'm going to do a video on drawing eyes i think i'm going to do that for tomorrow so make sure you uh, come back stay tuned um because I think uh, I think that would be a good one. So, but notice the eye in profile. It's really this this kind of pizza slice on its side, and I'm putting it right up to the edge, um, right up to the edge of the profile, because um, that's where it's going to go. So I'm, I'm just coming in a little bit from the from the edge of the oval and putting my eye there. I remember um, when I was working for Archie Comics, we had an inker who constantly liked to pull the eye back. So no matter where you drew the eye, he would always kind of like pull it back into the middle of the head almost. And it just made the, it always just ruined your profile. Fortunately, that guy's dead. So pencilers everywhere are safe. Okay, now moving on to the nose. Now the nose really starts to pull away from the, the face, okay? We have the eyes, and what happens is our foreheads are gonna curve inward to give us our brow, and then the nose is gonna pull away from the shape of the, the, that oval that we started with. How far the nose is gonna pull away? Well, that's gonna really depend on the nose, okay? But we want to bring the nose down to that nose line. And I may do a video on noses too. I may do a video on each of the features. Um, so if that's interesting, if you think that'll be interesting, let me know and I'll, I'll really do it. Okay, so that's where the nose is gonna go. Now the mouth is also going to pull away from that main oval. So it's gonna go underneath the nose and it's gonna curve. It's going to dip in for the upper lip. It's gonna dip back out for the lower lip and then it's going to swoop down. So we, we've placed our features. We have our nose line, our mouth line. Now what I wanna do, actually I may go, I may, I'm gonna jump ahead and I'm gonna give my guy his ear and the reason and the reason I'm putting the ear in is because the ear is a pretty hefty uh, landmark it's gonna it's a, it's a pretty good guideline okay so that's where the ear is gonna go now I've put the ear in because I want to give my guy a chin and the chin you know chins can take on many different forms you could have the strong classic square chin going into a square jaw or you could have a soft chin or a, or a flabby chin, whatever, whatever the person you're drawing has. But the chin is going to roll back into the jawline, which is gonna curve up and connect to the ear, okay? Now here's a, a, something to, to consider when you're drawing your profile. Um, as I said, the nose pulls away from the face and, and it, it takes with it some of the lower half of the face. So the nose, the mouth comes out, the chin comes out some. Um, and this is a dangerous area because sometimes either we pull the nose and mouth out too far, in which case we develop this, this snout to our profiles, or we don't pull them out far, far enough and what happens is we get a very flat face. So... If you if you're ever questioning whether you're you're pulling it out uh, too far or not enough, a good way to check yourself is to draw a line, draw a line from the tip of your nose down to the tip of your chin, and that line should be at a nice slant like that. If this line were too straight, then you're you're probably drawing a face that might be too flat or you're pulling out the bottom too far. So you should have a nice diagonal slant like that. 
okay? All right, so now we have our features in place and what's left is to just give my head a cranium, a bit of a skull. Sometimes we, we don't think enough about that skull. And so I like to fill that in and the skull is going to dip in behind the ear where it will find the top of the neck on which to rest. And I'll add the front of the neck, the sternomastoid, and we have our profile. So that's it. That's, that's how the profile goes. Um, I hope that made some sense and that will be of help to you. Um, if you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll be happy to, to answer uh, any questions that you may have. If anything was confusing or you didn't get, please always just let me know in the, in the comments below. Um, I'm, I will do a part three where, where I'm going to do a couple more views because uh, I want to show how to turn the head into more of a three-quarter angle. Uh, I received a request for that after the last video, so we'll, we'll be doing that in a part three. Like I said, tomorrow night I want to tackle eyes, so make sure you come back for that one. Um, so, once again, uh, you know, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. I hope uh, this helps. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, uh, you know, thanks for uh, supporting the channel. Thanks for uh, subscribing if, you, if you've subscribed. And if you haven't, I hope you'll think about it. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell. Click like because that always helps out the channel. And uh, sharing, sharing always helps. Share the more people that get to see, the better. Okay, that's my spiel. Thanks a lot for tuning in again, everybody. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.